you are looking at here is what I believe to be the process of vesicle division. This is a simple solution which I made by adding liquid lecithin to water and then adding several drops of methylene blue, a staining agent. And looking at the result under the microscope magnified a thousand times. This is a single vesicle which I believe is in the process of division. I've had great difficulty capturing another more clear-cut example of vesicle division. When you watch the division of a normal living cell under the microscope, the process can take hours. This may be the case also with these non-living lecithin vesicles. And also there are no shearing forces when looking at these vesicles under the microscope like there would be in a primordial ocean to cause rapid separation of vesicles. So after studying vesicles under the microscope for two hours each night, this is the best that I could come up with. But I believe that it does stir the imagination and prompts one to think about lipid vesicles in the primordial ocean which could have captured strands of RNA formed from free nucleotide bases which in turn were formed from other chemical processes. This could have been how life started on the primordial earth. After all, scientists have demonstrated that lipids can form from carbon monoxide and hydrogen under extreme temperature and pressure. And the nucleotide bases which make up RNA have been shown to be synthesized from hydrogen cyanide, an experiment which I myself will perform in the future. And so when you have liposomes and also self-replicating strands of RNA, you have some of the basic starting materials to form a living cell. This video was taken over the course of 15 minutes and I did some editing to show the beginning stage as well as a more advanced stage of vesicle division. In the near future, as I said in one of my other videos, I will be replicating the experiment to produce fatty acids from carbon monoxide and hydrogen under hydrothermal vent conditions of extreme temperature and pressure in hopes of creating a layer of fatty acids which can be collected and are visible to the naked eye. Uh, anyway, I want to thank all of my subscribers for their support and as always, thanks for watching.